Recently, Germany introduced a new card which is called as Opportunity Card or Chancen Karte for 2024, which provides you a lot of flexibility to come to Germany and work in Germany. Now, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss in detail what is Chancen Karte or Opportunity Card, what is the eligibility criteria for this, how do you apply for this visa, what are the Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about the brand new visa that Germany has announced for 2024. It is called as Opportunity Card or Chancen Karte. So in this video, we are going to cover in detail what is this visa, who can apply for this visa and how is this different from the job seeker visa. So stay tuned until the end of this session so that it can give you new information on how to enter Germany for a job in 2024. So now let's get started and discuss about what is Opportunity Card or Chancen Karte for Germany 2024. Now before we get into details, let me show you something. Now as per uh, the official website of Germany, it gives you a data of how much skill shortage is there in Germany. Now if you see this, this clearly shows you what is the shortage that Germany is facing right now? Now, in Germany, the retirement age is 67. So here it says that there will be around 30 to 45 percentage of increase of retirement people by the, by the year 2034. And also by 2060, there will be one third of fewer people who will fall into the category of working age. And also out of 801 occupations, there are in total 352 occupations which do not have skilled workers as of now. And around 55 percentage of companies already view this being a major issue in Germany in coming years. Now, if you also see here, it also also out which professions uh, are facing this problem say IT software development automotive engineering electrical engineering also electrician skill label workers construction workers and so on and also healthcare industry and there are many other different industry that is facing this issue now because Germany is facing the skill shortage they are introducing new laws and new visas to attract immigrant skill workers into their country so that they can take care of this issue and that is why recently Germany introduced a new card which is called as Opportunity Card or Chancen Karte for 2024 which provides you a lot of flexibility to come to Germany and work in Germany. Now uh, in this video we are going to discuss in detail what is Chancen Karte or Opportunity Card, what is the eligibility criteria for this, how do you apply for this visa, what are the different documents that you need, the timeline and the cost required for this visa and also how is it different from the job seeker visa. So now first what is opportunity card? Opportunity card is also called as Chancen Karte. Okay, so this allows you to enter Germany to find a job and it allows you to come to Germany for a period of one year and then it once you get a job you can convert your opportunity card into a resident title say a blue card or a work permit now blue card and a work permit has more benefits and uh, it depends upon your salary that you have received whether you are going to apply a work, normal work permit or a blue card and then it also allows you to work for part-time in Germany while you're finding a job. So basically, you come to Germany for one year to search a full-time employment. In that one year, you can work for part-time 20 hours a week in, uh, in Germany as a part-time job uh, and you can still search for a job and then it also allows you to work on trial basis for two weeks for unlimited companies. So basically there is a concept in Germany that if you are giving an interview in any company and if they want to uh, trial uh, you know the synergy between you as a candidate and the company they can employ you for two weeks uh, on a trial basis so that you can work for that company and see how it goes. Now this uh, uh, not many companies do that, but in case if they want to do it, you are allowed to do that on this visa. So basically, in, in to summarize, Opportunity Card allows you to come to Germany for one year to find a job for yourself. While you're finding a job, you're allowed to work 
part time and earn some money as well and then you convert as soon as you get a full time employment you can convert your opportunity card into a blue card or a work permit now let's discuss what is the eligibility criteria now this visa is a point based visa basically something very similar to what canada provides now basically uh, what you need to do is you need to get minimum points to be eligible for this visa how do you calculate the points how much is the minimum point that you need i'm going to discuss in detail about that in the further slide so stay tuned and then uh, there is certain criteria for the degree the language and the financial support that you need to provide so let's go in detail so now let's understand how the point based system is calculated now in case if you need to be eligible for this visa you need minimum of 6 points to be eligible now how do you get the points is what i've mentioned on the right hand side so see if you have a professional qualification or university degree which is recognized by germany then you get 4 points now now in case if you need to know how you recognize your degree as per the german standards then there is a detailed explanation that i've shown in my job seeker visa uh, Uh, video which is if you click on the i button you can see that so i would suggest please go ahead and watch that video so uh, basically uh, you get 4 points if you have a university degree now in case if you have 5 years of experience in last 7 years then you get additional 3 points and in case if you have 3 years of experience then you get 1 point now a lot of people contact me and ask me we have 2 years of experience i would say if you have 2 years of experience then let's uh, take one more year of experience. experience so that you can apply for the visa or if you still want to uh, go ahead and apply you can apply but you would you would not get this 3 points or 1 points or you can also think of other ways of coming to germany such as masters and so on now uh, in case if you have good english skills uh, say you have studied in english and you have c1 level of english then you get 1 point the best part is you do not need german language just a1 german if you have a1 german you get 1 point and if you have b2 level of german then you get additional 3 points so if you want to increase your point based system then you also have different ways of doing that uh, then this visa allows you to enter germany up until 40 years of age age isn't that amazing so now in case if you are between uh, up to 35 years you get 2 points and if you are between 36 to 40 years you get 1 point now for example if you have a spouse and your spouse also wants to work and they also fall into the skill uh, shortage category then uh, they can also apply for this and you get additional 1 point for that and in case if you have previously lived in germany for at least 6 months then you get additional 1 point now this does not include that if you've traveled to germany or any schengen country on a tra travel or a tourist visa no maybe you have lived in germany for a project or a training and you have stayed here for 6 months then you get additional 1 point so this is how the point based system is calculated minimum you need 6 points now the next thing that you need here is your degree you need minimum 2 uh, years of a university degree from your home country which has to be recognized in germany and or you need any professional training course that is also okay then you need language minimum requirement of language is a1 level of german which is not very difficult it is easy i would say you can study from uh, you can learn from your uh, home country and then you need english at least at b2 level if not c1 level then you need financial support now uh, if you're staying in germany for one year they want to know whether you can take care of yourself or not whether uh, you have enough financial support to uh, you know uh, stay uh, take care of the cost the expenses the living cost in germany so that's why if you do that calculation you need around 11200 euros to show for the entire year but there are also different ways do not worry if you do not have this amount with you right now right but there are also different means that you can show which i'm going to discuss in uh, in uh, by the end of this slide so uh, let's move on now how do you apply for this visa basically what you need to do is first you need to calculate your score and then keep your documents ready and apply at a german embassy or consulate in your country now how do you calculate your score so there is this uh, one website that is called as chancenkarte jobs now this website is not an official website 
website but still you you know you can go ahead and uh, there is a, a link here that says opportunity card calculator and you can still click here and fill this form and try to calculate your score so you will get an idea about how much scores you have however uh, i would say this is not an official website as of now but you can still you know use this to calculate the scores now let's go to the next slide so uh, basically uh, how do you apply there they are going this visa is going to get started from june 1st of 2024 so we have to wait for the german embassy to still publish more details about it but i would say keep your documents ready calculate the score and then we can apply for this visa now what are the documents that you require for this visa one is you need your updated cv and your resume then you need official academic certificates which comes your university degree your mark sheets and you also need uh, to go ahead and you know uh, verify that with the german uh, uh, website called anabin so that it is recognized by germany then you need your professional certificates and your experience letters uh, your last three months salary slips and and uh, also you need the details of the project that you have worked on which is also covered in your experience letter and also the proof of finance now the proof of finance i'm assuming it's very similar to the job seeker visa Again, if you want to know how do you uh, show your proof of finance, please watch that video of my job seeker visa which has detailed explanation about all these things. You can also show your savings account uh, or your FD or a blocked account. There are different ways that you can show that you have this much uh, money with you. Now, what is the timeline and the total cost for this visa? So, let's go to the timeline. So, the visa start date itself is June 1st of 2024. So, you can only start applying by June 1st. And what I've heard right now is they are going to try this this year with 25,000 applications first. So, they are going to roll out 25,000 visas and see how it goes. And maybe then they are going to continue. Now, this is not a very official statement that they have mentioned, but this is the news outside. So, uh, I would say apply for it. So June 1st is when they are going to start and then the total savings that you need to show is 11,200 approximately. But say in case if you do not have this, this much savings, then what you can do is you can uh, also show a part-time contract. Basically, what you can do is from now itself, from your home country, you can reach out to this different uh companies that are uh, that are giving you part-time jobs and uh, you all you need to show is an employment contract of a part-time job that allows you to work for 20 hours a week now as per minimum wage law in germany every uh, company has to pay you 12 uh, euro per hour so if you're paid 12 euro per hour and if you're working 20 hours a week you get approximately thousand euros a month that is your gross salary so in case if you want to minus your taxes you it depends upon different factors you, you know are you here with your family or you're single and uh, which state you're living in then so many other factors there are different tax classes that you fall into if you need a separate video of that i'm going to create that later on please mention in the comment section so basically if you earn around thousand euros say you can easily say you will get around 700 uh euros say say at minimum you will get around 650 to 700 euros uh, right as your net so now that you can show that you have this part-time contract in that case what happens is you do not need to show this 11,000 because it shows that you can take care of yourself because you already have a part-time job so you can do a mix and match combination of showing some savings and also a part-time contract and I think it should be fairly easy to get a part-time contract. There are a lot of uh, companies here, uh, even if you work in different uh, restaurants or cafes, they need people. And if you contact them, then I think it should be fairly easy to get uh, a part-time job. And then your living cost will be up to 1000 euro per month. That is at minimum I've taken, which will be part of this 11,000. So you don't do not have to save this separately. Uh, but your living cost will range between 1000 to 1500 depending upon which city you're going to uh if it's berlin it's cheaper if it's frankfurt munich it's much more expensive if you go to smaller cities then it is much more cheaper so uh this is something that you have to keep in your mind 
okay now uh, let's see uh, what is the difference between the job seeker visa and the opportunity card because both of these visa allow you to come to germany to find a job uh, so why uh, we have a new opportunity card basically uh, when i came to germany on job seeker visa i felt that you know job seeker visa is missing some flexibility so all that flexibility job seeker visa was not having all that is covered in your opportunity opportunity card which is amazing that's why if you ask me whether i have to choose job seeker visa or opportunity card well uh, it depends upon lot of other factors let's see the difference between job seeker and opportunity card now if you see here uh, the validity of a job seeker visa is 6 months however for an opportunity card it is 12 months so sometimes 6 months can be less to find a job uh, i was feeling that pressure you know in 6 because the interview process takes longer uh, but again it also depends upon you how dedicatedly are you finding a job and if you are very get dedicated then you can find a job in 6 months i found a job in 4 months i know few people who found a job in 3 weeks also and some people who found a job on the 6th month also so basically it depends upon your dedication now what happens is uh, say in case uh, you need more time to find a job then the opportunity card is better because it allows you to stay here for one year in job seeker visa you are not allowed to do part time job however in the opportunity card you can do a part time job and earn up to say 1000 euro uh, per month uh, extension of the visa for job seeker visa it is not allowed but for the opportunity card it says that you can extend it if you show what is your course of action and why do you want to extend it say for example at the end of the year you are still waiting for some final round interview feedback from some companies but your visa is expired you can still go and you know talk to them and say i'm waiting and i will get uh, i'm waiting for my final round feedback i might get the feedback in next one month uh, or two months and you can still try to extend it that is possible now funds now because you have to stay in germany for 6 months for job seeker visa you need less funds say uh, starting from 5000 euros to uh, 6000 euros but in opportunity card you are staying in germany for one year so you need more funds for that at minimum say 11000 euros so that's the major difference here now experience for job seeker visa you needed minimum 5 years of experience in your home country but in opportunity card you can have minimum of 3 years of experience and still apply for it and uh, for job seeker it is not a point based system uh, every application is uh checked separately and they are evaluated based on their own uh documents that they have provide but opportunity card on the other hand is a point based system now are they going to compare points of all the applications together that is something that i'm unclear about at this moment but uh let's let's see how that goes so this is a major difference between a job seeker visa and an opportunity card i would say opportunity card has lot of flexibility so i hope you got lot of information about the opportunity card as and when they are going to publish new information about this the steps uh, that you need to follow and also the official link where you can apply for this visa i'm going to publish all of that here in on my video or my youtube channel so please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you keep getting regular updates now is one year enough to get a job i think uh, one year is enough to find a job in germany or any place that you're looking for but the major thing is that you should have a right resume that is tailored as per your job description so that the first step that your resume should get selected now if you need to know how do you create a right resume there is a link here you can watch my video where i've explained in detail how do you compare a resume with the job description and uh, i hope hope my videos are helping you uh, in case it is please subscribe to my channel or leave a comment below what else do you want me to talk about when it comes to germany or recruitment i am here to help you so that you find uh, your dream job sooner and also you live the life that you have always desired so thank you so much for watching and have a great great day ahead and bye